The OCR tool is used to detect the character string on a target by simply placing the window around the characters to be read. There is no requirement to register a dictionary or configure fonts. This tool can perform OK No Good Judgment against the master text, or it can output the read text externally through an industrial communication protocol, such as Ethernet IP. Let's jump into an example. I'm going to use this OCR simulator file to walk through step-by-step -step how to set up and use the OCR tool. First, let's jump into sensor settings. Because I already have my master image saved of this date, I'm going to jump to step three, the tool settings. Go ahead and add a tool, go to the extra two tab and select OCR. Now you'll see it gives me a yellow box on my image and this is my tool window. I want to extend this to cover the text that I'm trying to read and you'll also notice there's an arrow in the window to indicate the direction that it will be read in. So in this case, from left to right. If I were trying to read in a different direction, you can simply rotate your window to align with the text. In this case, if it were going from the bottom to the top of my image. So I'm going to reset this angle and just place this around my date code and if you need to add a mask to ignore a portion that might be within the window, you can do so with this mask function. One thing to note is that you can only read one line of text per OCR tool. So if I had a second line of text below this that I wanted to read as well, I would need to add a second OCR tool for that character string. The next step is going to be the reading settings. So within the reading settings, you can specify whether you're going to be reading letters and characters or a date, and you can specify the specific format of what your date may be. In my case, it would be month, day, year. If you're going to be using a combination of letters and numbers, go ahead and keep it on character. And you can even specify whether you will see upper and lowercase or just uppercase. If you don't want to read letters at all, you can disable. Um, so I'm going to just keep it on upper. You can do the same thing for the number reading. So if you are not going to be reading any numbers and just want to be reading letters, you could disable this function. An example of where this might be useful is if you have the letter O in your text, sometimes the IV3 may see that as a zero. But if you disable the number reading, then it will clearly know that the character is an O and not the number zero. Um, symbol reading, you can do the same with that. If you have any symbols that will be in your text, just make sure that is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And next you can execute the reading. As you can see, when I made those changes, it did go ahead and execute already, but simply hit go and it will read your text. Under the Limit Adjustment tab, here's where you can specify what you want your master text to be. By default, the master text will be what is read on your master image, but if I wanted to change this, I could go ahead and do so. It's also possible to use these symbols down here to allow for certain changes in your master text. So for example, a question mark, if I were to place that here, would allow for all characters to be considered good. So whether it was 12.1 or 12.2, 12.4, all of those would be considered good because I have a question mark in my master text. Same thing, you have your other symbols that you can use to allow for numbers or if you want to allow any symbols, but I'm just going to leave that here as my master. You can also set this box for judge the number of characters only. So if I don't want to make my okay or no good judgment based off of the actual characters, but I want to make sure that all nine characters are there, I could simply check this box. Or if you're reading a code that maybe has a range, you could adjust that to whatever that range might be. From here, you've set all the basic settings of the OCR tool. 
but I do wanna hop into the extended functions because there are some very helpful settings here. The first is the shade contrast. So as it says, if enabled, the shade contrast of the characters will be reflected to the matching rate. So for example, if my ink or print starts to fade, as if this were enabled, my matching rate would start to decrease. So it's not only considering the actual text and the characters, but also the shade intensity. The next is the OCR algorithm. So you have a high speed or a high accuracy setting. So depending on if your text might be a little bit more difficult to read, you might want to use the high accuracy. If it's a fast application, go ahead and have the high speed selected. Then finally, you have this dot matrix print. And as you can see, my target or my character string is a dot matrix print. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable this setting. And you might notice that when I did that, it enhanced the dots on my target, making it a little bit easier for the IV3 to read. You can also set the print type. So right now it's set to black dot printing, normal. There's also a course option, which will intensify that a little bit more. And you can see it kind of decreases the spaces that are between the dots. We also have the same options for if you have a white dot print that is on a black background, you can have that selected. I'm going to keep it on normal for right now because that is a pretty clear text. And now that I've changed that setting, I'll just need to re-perform the reading. And as you can see, it gets the same result as before. And so now I am ready to complete my program. So now to test out how this tool would perform on other targets, let's go to Operation Simulation. And as you can see, I have a couple of saved images in the program. So as I click on each one, it will apply the tool we just set up to these targets. And so as you can see, I get a no good result because I am missing two characters and it sees 23 instead of 2022. As I go through these, you can see how it would judge each image. And here we have a good result compared to our last bad result. So I hope this video helped explain how to set up and use the OCR tool along with some of the advanced functions. But if you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Kiants Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.